and welcome to another episode of Wine Mastery, .co.uk. My name is John Lifer, this is... John Murphy. And we're here to tell you all about wine, hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wines you absolutely love. In this episode we're talking about Chianti. <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs> and uh, we're talking about Chianti from uh, supermarket chains. We've uh, tried the Sainsbury's, uh, we've tried the Tesco's, and now we're going to try a Marks and Spencer's. Yes, we are. Okay, so, shall we get on with it, do you think? Yes. So this one, I think, is is all one grape again? Uh, no, no, this is a blend again. This is, uh, this is a blend, it's okay. a San, Sangiovese, um, a, a grape I can't pronounce or know of, and then a, a hint of Cabernet Sauvignon, okay. I believe it said, yes. Okay. Um, but this again is a, is a reserva. Okay. So again, another two years before it's been, before it's been released. Um, so, yeah, let's give and it And again, 2013, I think. Yeah, exactly the same vintage as well. Okay, so a good comparison this time. Okay. It will be. Let's go and have a look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very similar colour. It is, it is. I would probably say, I, for, um, I think it's a little bit lighter. Yeah. But still, still got that like, richness there. <coughs> a little bit of brown on it, on um, it when we... And look at yours again, I'm just going to watch yours instead of mine, because yours... Must be the light, must be the light, must be in the right direction. I think it definitely is, isn't it? But yeah, so a little, I, I think a little bit lighter. Still, still got the brown it. on it. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that right there, right there. It looks good. Um, so I'm gonna have a go on the nose, see what's going on. Mm, that's nice. It, it's nice. But? I, I just, yeah, it's nice. But. No, yeah, there is a but. I think it's more subtle. I don't think that's quite as. Okay. I was expecting. Mm -hmm, yes. A bit second, more. In the second sniff, it's. Um, mm. what's, the, what's the wine expression for that? Rather than sniff. Uh, nose, you just eat. Just nose. say nose. Yeah, the nose. nose. The second nose. nose. What do you call the nose? I don't know. Whiff. <laughs> I don't Sorry know. About I, that. I don't think it's that. Uh, second smells. I don't. Upon nosing it a second time. Upon nosing it the second time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I don't uh, think that uh, is the uh, correct uh, terminology. Uh, 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 but I like it. Yeah. But for nursing it a second time. time. <laughs> I could come some things. One can't have too much of the old nosing, <laughs> can one? Stop it. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's a, a little more subtle. Yeah. This this is for me. It's got more um again that more of that Pinot Noir style about it, that you know, the rotting vegetable style. Okay. Well, when you say that People will be going, if they haven't seen your previous comments about rotten vegetable, immediately think, oh, it must taste horrible. Yeah, 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 that, that, it, it's just kind of a term. It, it, when, when you do smell it, uh, or, or smell that particular... If you were to smell a Pinot Noir and, and, and somebody said that to you, you'd realise exactly what I mean, but it's not particularly a bad thing, it's not at all. No. I bet, yeah, thanks for... Yeah. I better pull that out of there, because I don't want to put you off drinking wine, especially not uh, this one. But, I mean, the cherry's there as well, which again is expected, but um, let's have a little test. Okay. Mmm. 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 Mm. 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 More silkiness to that one. Yeah. The, that, that fl the, the flavour of that was not what I expected from the nose. No. That's got a lot more about it than what the nose would have led you to believe. I think you would, you would the word you would use for this. Go on. Is well balanced. Oh. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you couldn't. Yeah, you're not going far wrong there. The tannins are good. The flavour of the cherries is quite predominant in there, and then the richness is kind of got that ri richness of like a chocolate, chocolate richness, with the tannin just coming into the finish nicely, lengthy length. I won't say it's got too much length. I won't say it's again massive. Yeah. Not, none of the candies we've tasted no. this evening have been um, too too massive, but that. For me, it does really, really work. It's a shame I couldn't find more on the nose there. But then, again, but sometimes, sometimes with with the nose has suggested we're not going to like it, and we've loved it. And other times, mm. the nose has seemed really good, and when we've tasted it, we've been disappointed. Yeah, yeah. So. so this is yeah. No, I was. This has been a nice surprise because on the nose, I must admit, when I, when I smell that, I was thinking. Oh. Oh, this is going to be a bit thin and a bit kind of. Um, but no. But that's a, a very pleasant surprise. It's very nice. So, out of the three, 
which would you say? Now that's a mood thing, isn't it? Again, right now, right now, as it stands, I it's a difficult. One. I probably I would. <laughs> It is a difficult one. As it stands, I'd probably go number two. I know that sounds odd, but I like the nose on that and I liked how that all worked together. Saying that, I'd, I'd, as an all-rounder, number two, the flavour-wise, number three, if that makes sense. Okay. As it, as like a, it was just an interesting one as number two, to kind of I, get in there and, uh, you know, to, uh, uh, wanting to know about one, find out about one. I found that an interesting one, whereas this, I'm not, that, that sounds bad, nothing wrong with this whatsoever, in fact the flavour's delicious, <coughs> but number two would do it for me. I would have said that actually, if I was drinking the wine on its own without food, I'd go for uh, this Marks and Spencer's one. Yeah. And if I was uh, having some Bolognese or lasagna, then I'd go with number two, the uh, Tesco's. Okay. I can see that. Because I think it would it would cut through uh, the fat of the meat, etc. more. I think I'd like to try number one with um, with some food. I think because yeah. I think well, I mean obviously the way this works, we we uh, we have it with no food. But I think we may have done it a little bit of an injustice if we if we were trying to be food. I think we might have. Yeah, really, really liked it. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. they would they would all kind of complement the foods we've discussed, so, and it would it is just taking those tannins away. Um, but no, all in all. And I think that obviously, as we've said before, or you've said before, should I say, um, that uh, quite often the wines complement the foods of the region. Definitely, definitely. That goes without saying, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you, you see that all, all the time. But yeah, exactly. I mean, I only started seeing sp spaghetti bolognese with this, and it would just be delightful. Yeah. I'm really, I'm, I really, you, 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 I really want some spaghetti bolognese. Stag bol. Yeah. Well, very nice. So I think again, I think it illustrates that it is very much up to your own individual palate. So yep. you know, whatever we say, we believe is number one or is the best, the best of the the batch, may not be what uh, you uh, like. And as John has often said, if everyone liked the same wine, you'd only have to stop one bottle. Yeah, it's very, very true. Yeah. So. Uh, Yes, they've all been very nice. Yeah, right? yeah, and, and made a nice change from a lot of the reds. They are quite distinctive. They are. They do stand out, aren't they? And it, yeah. <coughs> as I said earlier, which one? Like, I, I'd recognise one and two as a Chianti, but number sorry, no, three and two as a Chianti, but number one, I, I would struggle to get there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that is a very obvious Chianti. Mm. Fantastic. Very okay. Delicious. Beautiful. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to our next little uh, jaunt to the supermarket when we'll be tasting three other wines uh, from the same grape from three different supermarkets. Hopefully, we'll see you there. Chin chin. Chin chin. Chin 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 chin. <laughs>